Hi there, uh, it's Kat Simpson from Kat Simpson Enterprises, That Cat. I'm here to talk to you about how to set your user permissions for having the VAs go in and work on your inventory and your taxable settings. Uh, I know some of you have, have hired uh, Kat Simpson Enterprises and my VAs are trying to work on that. So, to get you started, please watch the first video in the series about how to add user permissions. Um, and that's adding a user to your account. Once you've added the user to your account, the next step is to correct their user permissions, to give them permission to the things in your inventory they're going to need to access. So first, of course, got to sign into Amazon Seller Central. Can't do anything unless you're signed in. And then you come over here to settings, slide down to user permissions. And when that screen opens, you're going to find the name of the VA that I have asked you to work with. Typically, it's Daisy, so we'll choose her on my account. Uh, and we go into edit user permissions and what to work on your inventory and your tax settings, what Daisy needs access to, number one is your inventory, number two is your reports, and number two is your tax settings, of course. So first, we're going to give her admin access to all of your inventory, okay? Next, you don't need to give her any access to your advertising. You're free to set that as none. Uh, she does not need to see your orders. You can set that as none. She doesn't need to work on your uh, infos and policies, so you're going to need to set that at least at view and edit or as admin. Um, sometimes your info and policies need to be updated to uh, state whether you collect sales tax and what states you do. If you want her to do that, you need to let her have access to your info and policies. Reports, the easiest thing to do is give her admin to all of them. She will not need all of these reports. Obviously, she doesn't need a feedback report, uh, customer metrics reports. If you'd prefer not to give her permission for those, you're fine at pulling those ones back. Amazon Selling Coach, she's definitely going to need to see those. Your business reports and uh, the tax documents library, of course. So easiest just to give her admin to all of them, but you can go through and select the ones you don't want her to see if you don't. Trust me, she doesn't have a lot of time <laughs> to look at your other reports, but it's up to you. Now we get to the settings. Um, she doesn't need all of these settings, but she obviously needs view and edit permission in the tax settings. So the easiest thing again to do is simply admin or view and edit, but if you prefer, all of these could be set to none, except she needs to be able to manage your cases. If there's an issue with a piece of inventory, she needs to be able to open a, a case in Seller Central and get that straightened out. So she needs to be able to manage your cases, your seller configuration, your shipping settings because some of those are taxable and your tax settings. So at least these right here need to be view and edit. Again, the easiest thing is just admin, but that is totally your call. Uh, media upload doesn't need that, obviously. Administrative tools to upgrade and downgrade, she doesn't need that, and she doesn't need to see your Amazon lending account. So to recap, the easiest thing to do is to give her admin privileges in all inventory, uh, admin privileges in your store design for the info and policies, admin privileges in the reports, admin privileges in the settings. If you prefer, obviously you can go through and give her permission only for exactly what she needs, which would be, uh, she needs your item classification guide. She needs to look at your shipments. She needs to be able to add inventory in case she has to move something around. Uh, she needs to be able to upload inventory, again, in case there's some changes to be made. For orders, she needs to be able to manage your transactions and see those, view and edit. Store design, it's the info and policies that may need updated if you choose to have her do that. The reports, the one she's going to need most is the Amazon Selling Coach, Business Reports and Sales Summary. She's also going to need your Fulfillment Reports uh, and your Tax Document Library. In Settings, she's going to need to see your Fulfillment Settings, Manage Your Cases, your Seller Configuration, your Shipping Settings because some of Taxable, and your Tax Settings. Those are the minimum that she needs. And of course, don't forget, you have to go down at the bottom and click Continue. Uh, to ch make all those changes in the settings so that she can access what she needs to. So thank you for purchasing this uh, service from VetCat. And if you haven't, go check out VetCat.com. Sign up for our newsletter. We offer a lot of services for Amazon sellers. Uh, we can help you make that connection to have a VA and double your time.